Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Um, so I'll be doing a screen replacement on the MacBook Air 2015. This is the A1466 model. And as you can see, my, I have a correct screen starting from the bottom left here, and it goes all the way across the screen. So um, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on how to replace the screen. And this is my new screen replacement here. Okay, so it's a full assembly, meaning that the webcam, um, the back, the cable for the Wi-Fi, and LCD, they're all in one big piece together. So this is a full LCD assembly. And as you can see, uh, I can't see anything on the screen. So let's go ahead and press the power button to shut it down. All right, so the screen is off. Let's close it. And first thing you need to do is to remove the back plate. Here's the pantalope screwdriver. Go ahead and remove all the screws. Alright, so once you have all the screws removed, uh, go ahead and open up the, uh, the back plate. Now the first thing you want to do is to disconnect the battery. Uh, for those of you who wants to change the SSD drive, the hard drive, and this is, this is the hard drive that you're going to change. But for our case, we're going to change the screen, right? So let's go ahead and start with this on the top right here. Go ahead and remove this cable. So they do have a double sided tape here and you just remove it. Okay, this is the uh, the charging the DC connector I.O. board for this one. And this cable here is for the LCD as well. Go ahead and remove it. Alright, so we need to disconnect the CPU fan and make sure you flip open that little clipper here. There's a clipper that holds onto the ribbon cable. Flip it up and we can go ahead and disconnect that after. So, But before we do that, um, let's go ahead and remove the, um, the CPU fan. Alright, just be careful with the ribbon cable, they are very fragile and um, make sure you do not pull too hard, if not you would rip it apart. Okay, go ahead and disconnect the speaker cable, let me move it closer to this in the middle here. Okay, and also there's a hidden cable right here, there's a little tape that covers it up. Make sure you get the tape. Okay. Open up that clipper and gently pull that cable like this. Disconnect it. And there's only one screw that holds on to this. Alright, so if you, for those who wants to change that DC jack connector or the USB port or maybe your headphone jack and this one piece is the one that you want to change. 
all right so the reason why we removed this because one of the cable that attached to the LCD uh, is somewhat hidden underneath behind it so I like to make things easier I just remove it and put them back together after all right let's move on remove the two cable of that Wi-Fi be very careful with this because once the cable is broken or snap then you will have a lot of uh, weak signal on your Wi-Fi or maybe not even getting any Wi-Fi at all so make sure that this little metal um, gold plated connector is not broken but that's alright because we are changing up the new screen um, the new screen comes with it alright so once you have the Wi-Fi that removed and the last thing you want to do is to remove this connector the LCD connector flip open that little hinge the clipper and remove that cable okay so the next thing is go ahead and get a torque screwdriver and remove six screws and these six screws is the one that is holding on to the LCD hinge so what I usually do is I'll leave one screw on both sides and at this point I will open up my LCD okay and then come back and remove that final last screw the reason why I do this because now I can easily um, have the screen detach just like that okay so here's the O screen the crack screen and this is the uh, the bottom part of the laptop all right so so far so good and here's the LCD screen so what I'll do is I'll open up the hinge flip it all the way to the back do the reverse process hold it up and then slide it back in and then slide it back in on the other side back in just like that all right before I do that I need to put one screws back on to just close the hinge the the screen Okay, now I can close the screen like normal. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect this cable. And put the two screws back on. This one here is for that Wi-Fi cable.
So the Wi-Fi cable, what you want to do is you just want to kind of tuck underneath the motherboard. There's nothing really special about how you put it. You just want to hide it underneath the motherboard. That's that's pretty much it. Okay, so at this point, you just got to be very gentle. Make sure that um, when you put that connector back on, you do not want to break that metal piece right here. Okay, so let me just put it on first. It looks like I'm a bit short. Well, how do you tell which one is um, the top and which one is the bottom? So it's very obvious that the the longer cable would go to the bottom and the shorter one is on the top. Okay, so that is done. So I'll come back here on this side. So I'll get this cable going back into here. So there's one screw, just make sure you put it back. All right, here's the speaker cable. Put the speaker cable back on. Remember this little clipper, that cable. Okay, put it back in. Alright, so once you slide it in and it covers up that white line, meaning that you have the cable all the way in. Now once you have that in, go ahead and close that clipper and just put the tape back on. Alright, before I move forward with that, I'll go ahead and make sure I have the CPU fan cable in place. So put it, push it all the way in until you not seeing the white line once you have that in place go ahead and close that clipper okay so you kind of need to hide it put the cable on the side There are three screws that holds on to the CPU fan. Oops.
and finally that DC jack cable and then go ahead and tuck the cable back in alright so so far we are doing good you have all the cables connected make sure you don't forget about this cable here and this cable is just like a Lego it snap on nothing special and finally your battery cable okay so there we have it let's put the back cover back on I'm just gonna put like one or two screws uh, just to kind of hold it in place and I'd like to test and make sure I have the LCD before I put everything back on together so let's go ahead and open up the screen press the power button looks like we have a display it looks good let's go ahead and turn on the screen a little bit brighter and we have a full display and do not forget to remove this Alright, so there you have it. Uh, hopefully that this video helps uh, give you a step-by-step -step on how to replace the screen. Um, I will have the, the LCD in the description below where you can buy it from and also the, the tools that you need um, to replace the, the LCD screen. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, you can write to me um, once I get the chance I'll go ahead and reply and um, until next time so thanks for watching